What happened if this particular gas has got completely over or if this gas too has some issue? Something could be one good, right? Okay, if you go for an induction coil, what happened if current will complete the power goes off? Or what happened if this what happened this particular coil has an issue? It won't be good, right? Okay, welcome to the today's topic. We are going to talk about something called placement strategy in AWS. Okay, in AWS, placement strategy refers to the method of selecting the underlying hardware infrastructure for launching EC2 instances. And the AWS offers several placement strategy that helps customer optimize their workload for specific requirements such as performance, observability, availability, and the cost. What exactly it means is like you can have your own strategy to deploy your EC2 instance in AWS infrastructure. There are certain at the use cases like you can have a more bandwidth of having a good availability, good performance, and to optimize the cost as well. This is what exactly the placement strategy says. There has a three different types of uh, the methodology and the strategy. One is called cluster, spread, and partition. So we can check out about the cluster. So this is something called uh, the cluster. Each EC2 instances which deployed under the same hardware, which is quite equal to same rack. So all EC2 instances are deployed under the same availability zone. So this type of methodology or strategy which helps us to spread the instance across underlying hardware to reduce the risk of simultaneous failure and it gives the low latency and 10 Gbps bandwidth per EC2 instances. So what exactly it says like, you have only one hardware under the particular hardware, that seven or eight EC2 instances will share that particular hardware. Okay, so the problem with this particular strategy is like, if this particular hardware has some issue, all seven or eight EC2 instances will may go fail and it go down. That is what the problem here. If rack underlying hardware fails, all EC2 instances will fail at the same time. So this is uh, not at a recommended level, but to run something called a big data jobs to run it completely fast. So you may need to consider this particular strategy. So the real time example for this particular strategy, you have a gas stove and you have a gas cylinder. If this particular cylinder goes off, all your cooking may get it completely vanished. So you cannot be properly. So it will create an issue, right? So let's look for the different strategy called another strategy called spread. So this particular strategy, it says like each EC2 instance had will be deployed into a different hardware. So if you look at here, hardware one is deployed under one EC2 instance. So EC2 instance has been deployed under hardware one, and another EC2 instance has deployed on hardware two. Similarly, hardware three and four, five and six. So the, the main advantages of this particular strategy is can span across availability zone and reduce the risk of simultaneous failure. The EC2 instance are different physical hardware. I mean to say EC2 instance are deployed into different physical hardware. Okay, so the what, what's the main good thing is like each, each EC2 instance has their own hardware. If that particular hardware goes down, that particular EC2 instance only will get failed. So the other EC2 instance running on different hardware, it won't get failed. That is the added advantage here. Okay, what is the problem on this particular strategy? It is limited to only seven EC2 instance per availability zone per placement group. So we can only launch seven EC2 instance only. You cannot launch more than that. If you try to launch, it will throw an error. And then you may need to go and see what kind of strategy that you are using it and you have to tune your config and then you have to you have to launch the instance. What is the use case? Ma'am, the application need maximum availability. Your application is core critical and it should not go down at any point of time. Then you may need to consider this particular strategy. That is what the critical apps which where each EC2 instance must be isolated from the failure from each other. So then only you have to consider the spread. 
what's the real time example see here you have a sambar rasam rice okay and it's all getting cooked under the induction coil if one particular induction coil goes down the another one induction coil it will get your food will get cooked similarly for rasam and rice as well if the rasam on az2 one of the induction coil has some issue or the power goes off then another uh, the another uh, the induction coil in same availability zone can come up and help you to create a food same with the rice as well so this is what and the real time example i would like to portray right here okay and what was the last the strategy this is called partition so partition is something like each ec2 instance has something called rack okay in each region so each region it has availability zones minimum it has three or four availability zones each availability zones has some set of default dedicated rack which means it has a dedicated hardware so if you see here rack 1 and rack 2 on us region so it has separate rack each rack has ec2 instance which is running so on the on rack 2 we have certain kind of ec2 instance running same in india region and rack 3 we have some ec2 instance are running what exactly it's defined is like so there are around rack 1 has some ec2 instance and these rack which is known as a hardware underlying backend hardware so added advantage here is like up to seven partition per availability zone so each availability zone you can under the region you may have three or four availability zones each availability zones you can have up to seven partitions so with help of having this you can able to launch 100 instances on each availability zones on the same region okay so it can span across multiple availability zone and the same region instance in partition do not share the same rack with the instance in other partition so this particular partition is completely isolated and this partition is completely isolated what i meant to say is rack 1 and rack 2 is completely isolated they don't share the hardware if there any hardware failure on rack 1 all the ec2 instance on the rack 1 will go down and it won't affect on rack 2 or rack 3 partition failure can affect many instances but won't affect the entire part other partitions that's the pro that's the main added advantage here ec2 instance can get access to rack metadata service so you can ec2 instance knows like what exactly this ec2 instance where exactly ec2 instance what is the rack information then easily get a data so what is the real time example so big data hdfs uh, cassandra kafka these kind of applications can consider using this particular strategy what's the real time example this is the real time example see you have an apartment okay in chennai in south and chennai north and you have some apartment in bangalore okay so within this apartment and south apartment chennai south apartment it has the gas pipeline okay this gas pipeline supports these many gas stoves these many gas stoves which is been there in the each flats same in the chennai north and the same in the bangalore if this gas pipeline completely has some issue only this chennai south apartment has an issue not chennai north or bangalore this is what the real time example i would like to portray okay i hope uh, you might have got some insight about the placement strategy if you like this video please like it and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video we'll see you on the another lecture mm -hmm.